My name is Tom, your friend and host with WeaponsEducation.com, and we're going to talk about the Smith & Wesson 500 ES Emergency Survival Toolkit, of course, with the firearm inside. And I've showed and premiered this firearm on the channel many times over the years. This is a firearm that has recently sold for $2,800. It went way up in value because they only made, hearsay is, about 400 of them. This kit, two and three quarter inch, little short, snubby 500 Magnum. But let me get to my story because right now we're going to show you some range footage and then I'm going to tell you what's going on here because I had to send the gun. It's not here yet. These are the goodies you get, the marketing material. If you happen to be the, one of the few people in the world who own one of the 500 ESs. They don't make it now. The smallest barrel they make is a 4 inch, which is wonderful. But what I did was uh, I made a mistake. I went camping this past summer, and I live in South Florida. So envision in your mind why... Why did I have to send my gun to Smith & Wesson? My beautiful 500 ES Magnum, which has been on the channel so many times, and send it in for some repair, and it's going to look totally different to you here in a moment. Well, I went camping for just two days. I wanted to shoot it that weekend, but I had a lot of other guns with me, and I ended up not shooting the 500 Magnum. And got home and all of a sudden I had a big problem with the 500 Magnum, which you can't see yet. I'm going to save that for a few moments. So think in your mind, why did I have to send it for repair? Excellent customer service at Smith & Wesson, by the way. And I'm going to tell you what they did to the firearm. I'm going to show you some range footage right now. Let's have some fun with it. This is really a magnificent pistol. Uh, let's have some fun and look at some range footage. And then I'm going to show you the uh, uh what it looks like now and what smith and wesson did to it and why the mistake i made for going camping for two days in the summer okay let's look at some range footage now dave has never shot a smith and wesson 500 this is a snub nose <laughs> i told him it's really got no kick it's the same as a 40 or a nine millimeter this is going to be hilarious. That's the target he's going to shoot. Dave, have you ever shot a Smith & Wesson 500 Magnum? Uh, no. And I'm it's not bad. It's, it's like shooting a BB gun. Yeah, right. I'm hoping this thing is huge. He's never seen it. It's, it's got a big barrel. It's huge. It's, it's like a 10-inch barrel. Take a look at it. He's really never seen this gun. 10-inch? <laughs> where's the other six? You mean, where's the other eight? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it's a snub nose. Yeah. Limited edition ES. Smith & Wesson 500 ES. Survival. Look at the cylinder on that. Survival? That's a survival gun in case a bear attacks. <laughs> what about next to a 380? It's got no kick, I'm telling you. You can handle it. <laughs> I'm not shooting it because I gotta drive home. You got a glove? No. Really? It's not gonna hurt you. Hold on, we get a good angle. Alright. Be prepared. I'm not kidding. I hope you don't fall backwards. Oh boy, that's not bad. How about you shoot the first one? I I'm not sure. I gotta drive home. I have to drive home. I have to deal poker. You gotta play poker tonight? I have to deal poker. You have to, you're not gonna be dealing poker tonight. Nah. Try it. Nah. You're not gonna be dealing poker tonight. I can't do that. Just take one shot. Just one. <laughs> He's really afraid. Just one. I did it. If, if I had a long barrel, it'd be no big deal. Dude. This 
just one shot. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> did it. <laughs> what do you think? Are you done? Let me see your hand. Is it red? Hold it out. Yeah, it's red. Did you ever feel a kick like that in your life? No. Isn't that amazing? It goes through your whole body, doesn't it? You don't have to shoot the other four if you don't want. Yeah, I'm not going to. I don't blame you. I'm not shooting it either. Because I got to drive. <laughs> okay, this is like a grenade going off in your hand. So we'll do our best filming it. My friend here, his name is Guy. Guy, I guess you want to film the, the gun or the gun and the target? What do you think? I can do both. You want to try and do both? All right, because there's going to be a lot of recoil. Yeah, we'll see how it works out after the we'll first We'll see how it works out after the first shot. We'll take our time. There it goes. Oh, boy. Hey, listen. Well, I got one more thing to say. Wait, wait, wait. If you get a heart attack from the sound, who's your next of kin? <laughs> you got a girlfriend? My girlfriend. All right. And you signed the release outside saying if you get a heart attack, you're not going to hold me responsible from the, from the sound of the concussion? I don't know if that release is for you or them. <laughs> now, don't worry. Now, my good. next of kin is my wife. Her name is Tammy, okay? Okay. So if, if something happens, like, or if I just like get a heart attack from the, from the concussion and the sound, let, let her know that I accept all responsibilities. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Oh, boy. cardboard in there tight all the way to the top that last time. So that was fun looking at the gun at the range with the orange grips. Now keep in mind that was 2007 technology over a decade prior to the recording of this video. So a lot of people are going to say well Tom you can't change those orange grips because it's going to reduce the value of this kit. Well I did go for a two day camping trip and I put this kit in the trunk when I got home in South Florida I did not think the orange grip would turn to glue basically like pudding and you, when you squeeze the, the, the pistol the revolver all the goop came out of it it was ruined it had to go back to Smith & Wesson and I called them Boom, no problem. They sent me a, a postage, and here's what I got back. Okay, I'll put this kit away. And I want to tell you some other work they did to it. Yeah, it's got a black grip now. There you go. Black grip. And I love it. The orange grip was older technology, was a thinner grip, and this is a Hogue grip. It's much more rubber in it. It's much beefier. I haven't shot it yet since I got it back. I just got it back the other day. And for free, because the Performance Center and Smith & Wesson's guns are warranted for life, they easily sent me a shipping label. Boom, send it to them. Two weeks back, it came back. 
and I said, by the way, while you're working on the melted grip, the orange grip, which all the goo was coming out here, it, it was no way for me to get the grip back and, and, and keep it for the gun. It was just the whole entire gun was covered with basically like glue on the inside. It was, the grip was ruined. So they said, all right, we're going to put a nice new modern Hogue on there, and I love it. Then I said, well, while you're at it, you know, for free, can you guys tune it up? So to speak, the timing of a, of a revolver. So what they did was, on a revolver, you've got something called a cylinder end shake. And if you hold your revolver and you go like this, front to back, see, now this, see how this, this is tight. It's like a, not, hardly nothing movement. Now when I sent it to them, there was some movement, much more movement. So I said the cylinder could be out of timing. And they're such a great company. What they did was they removed what's called the yoke screw here. And then what they did was they, for warranty for free, replaced the entire yoke, which you can't see because I'm not going to disassemble the gun, but it's in here. It's a huge piece of metal and they replace that and then they also for better timing that they put a new bearing in there that's if I'm going by memory I think it's about two thousandths of an inch and so they made it really really tight and they said Tom you have a brand new 500 Magnum now so that's really nice and when you close a revolver you close it by what's called the crane right here and then you click it shut You'd never want to you know, spin it and, and sh close it. So that will keep it from getting out of timing. Now, I want to talk about something else here. Ammunition and a way to carry a 500 Magnum. First of all, ammunition, as I talk about a lot, is double tap. Now, I want to show you something cool here. Look at the size of a double tap 500 Mag and look at the size of a nine millimeter. Please zoom in here, Tammy. Look, at, just look at the difference in size. You can always look at the gun too. It's so beautiful. Now this is called the equalizer ammunition from Double Tap. Remember, for self-defense, I always recommend Double Tap. All the ammunition that, that Colt manufactures is made through Double Tap. And here is a 500. Magnum 480 grain moving at 1300 feet per second and this particular bullet is two bullets in one so that's a separate video it's really cool and for you guys that have a nine millimeter while I'm at it which is all of us okay you want this double tap ammunition which is the plus P make sure your gun can handle it you don't want to blow your gun up or you hurt, hurt yourself uh, and this is buzzing at over 1300 feet per second, 9 millimeter plus P. These hollow points from double tap are as good as it gets. Now let's talk about a carry system. And as I always like to do is show you what's new with my leather factory. And since we're talking about a massive Magnum, look at this. This is not mine. This is going to a customer. This is the, if you know the Doc Holiday rig, this is for a uh, 460. I remember it's like a 8 inch. Look at this. Look at the quality of workmanship we did on this. And if you know what a Doc Holiday rig is, you can just Google it and look it up. It goes across your chest. So for you hunters, look at the buckle we put on it. It's just magnificent. And that goes across your chest. And then the customer wanted to put his speed loaders like this across his chest. The quality of the leather and the stitching is second to none with the highest end hardware made. And I just wanted to show you it's even got what's called a lower back strap. So I'm going to be doing a separate video 
on this Doc Holiday rig. The Doc Holiday rig, and that's a way to carry large monster revolvers. So with that said, yes, I put the gun in the trunk. The orange grip melted. It was not able to be repaired, and it's gone. But I have a new hoe grip. I have a whole new repaired and polished, by the way. They did it all without even telling me. They polished it all up. I mean, it's like as gorgeous as it gets. This is like the day I purchased it. So, Smith & Wesson is excellent for their customer service. They polished it up. They put a new yoke in it. And it is tight as a clam. And I can't wait to shoot this again with the new grip. Please subscribe, tell a friend. I happen to think that the group of people on this gun channel is very unique because you're all very mature and respectful. And I want to personally thank everybody for that. I work hard to uh, keep our gun rights. I work hard to work with the NRA. I'm doing a lot behind the scenes, and I need all of you to spread the word to watch this channel. So please subscribe, ring the bell, and let's all stick together as one, because we're all one family. And my name is Tom, and thank you for your time. Bye-bye.